Democracy has disappeared in several other great nations, not because the people of those nations disliked democracy, but because they had grown tired of unemployment and insecurity, of government confusion, government weakness. Finally, in desperation, they chose to sacrifice liberty in the hope of getting something to eat. We in America know that our own democratic institutions can be preserved and made to work. For several years, we've been concerned about the cascade effect from one crisis to the next. What began as a financial crisis in the financial arena with specific financial institutions has bled over or tipped over into the economy. So while it's helpful to organize information according to these general categories, it's also imperative to see how they overlap and intertwine. What we have today is a number of economic policies which have been put into place which have direct implications into the financial arena. So now you have not only the financial feeding into the economic, but the economic into the financial. You also have the politics of the Middle East, the politics of North Africa, the politics of Asia, which feed into the economy, feed into the financial system as well. These are not separate issues, they're all intertwined. The reality is it's the interrelations which are far more important. When we started out three years ago and begun to see a uh, collapse in the financial markets with specific financial institutions, banks uh, that were impaired because of balance sheets that were broken and, and leverage which was too high, we began to see further implications into the economy. The economy began to come to a grinding halt. We saw an impact in housing specifically. We saw an impact with personal bankruptcies. We saw uh, rising unemployment. We'll explore a combination of political, geopolitical, financial, and economic issues today. And if it seems that they overlap, it's because they do, in fact, overlap in the real world. This is not a university classroom where we can segment out Economics 101 from Geopolitics 101. All of these things work together, and it's with a holistic approach that we think you will be able to make wise decisions in the future for your family.